bridegroom, the matchmaker, the guests all rolled into one. I bet you'll even perform the ceremony by yourself. You must be crazy. Please don't shout at me, Reptavia. As for me being my own matchmaker, I know it's a little unusual. Unusual? It's crazy! <laughs> Times are changing, Reptavia. <laughs> the thing is, your daughter Tidal and I gave each other our pledge over a year ago that we would marry. <laughs> he gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. We gave each other our pledge. <laughs> They gave each other a pledge. Heard of. Observe. They gave each other a pledge. Think of all. Where do they think they are? In Moscow? In Paris? Where do you think you are? In America? And what do you think you're doing? You Stitcher! You nothing! Who do you think you are? King Solomon? But even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. I promise you, Reptavia, your daughter will not starve. You started to talk like a man. <laughs> On the other hand, what sort of match would that be with a poor tailor? On the other hand, he's an honest, hard worker. On the other hand, he has absolutely nothing. On the other hand, things couldn't possibly get worse. <laughs> They gave each other a pledge, unheard of, absurd. They gave each other a pledge, unthinkable. But look at my daughter's face. She loves him, she wants him. And look at my daughter's eyes, so hopeful. When shall we make the wedding? Thank you, Papa! I promise you, Reptilia, you won't be sorry. I won't be sorry. I'm sorry already. <laughs> Thank you, Papa! Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. <laughs> they pledged their troth. Modern children. Golda? What am I going to tell Golda? What am I going to do about Golda? 